Hi everyone! IV cameras have revolutionized the way we monitor and secure our homes, businesses, and other important areas. Today I'm going to dive into the top 5 things you need to know before setting up an IP camera system. And whether you're a novice or an experienced user, this video will provide you with the essential information to ensure a successful setup. Please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, and we love hearing your feedbacks and ideas. Feel free to leave a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see more of on our channel. So let's talk about cameras. IP camera is a digital video camera that captures and transmits video footage over an IP network, such as internet and local network. Unlike analog cameras, which transmit video using the coaxial cables, IP cameras digitize the video directly within the camera itself. And it comes equipped with built-in processor, image sensor, and network connectivity. Connect directly to your existing network infrastructure, allowing you to access the camera's video feed from anywhere using a tablet, computer, or a smartphone. So now I'm going to give out the five considerations that you should keep in mind. First, determine your civilian need. Are you looking to enhance your security, monitor specific areas, prevent thief, or ensure safety? Because clearly defining the purpose will help guide your decision-making process. And also evaluate the environment that your system will be deployed. Consider factors such as the size of the area, the layout, the lighting condition, the potential blind spot, and any specific challenge that need to be addressed. So number two, selecting the right IP camera. Selecting the right camera for the system is crucial to ensure effective civilian and security. But with wide range of options available, understanding the types of camera will help you choose the right one. So here are a few of them. Let me talk about them for a little bit. This is a fixed camera. A fixed camera has a fixed lens, provides specific field of view, is ideal for point of interest without need for adjusting your camera's position. And here we have the big boy PTZ camera. It stands for pan, tilt, and zoom, allowing for flexible monitoring and capture details over a large area. Next, we have the Doom camera. The Doom camera has a compact design and can provide a wide-angle view. It's usually installed on a wall or ceiling. Last but not least, we have the Bullet camera. Now, bullet camera is usually used for outdoor civilian and have a shape of cylindrical. Often come with built-in IR for enhanced night vision capability. So there are also other factors you need to pay attention when choosing the cameras. The resolution, field of view, low light performance, and motion detection. Number three, network infrastructure and bandwidth. You should evaluate your existing network infrastructure. If you want to use PoE transmission, you need to add a PoE switch or a PoE injector to supply PoE compatibility. Because PoE technology allows both data and power to be transmitted to the IP camera using only a single Ethernet cable. And you should determine the required bandwidth for optimal camera performance and addressing potential network limitation and bottlenecks. Now, number four is the security and privacy consideration. You should secure your camera access with strong password and user authentication. And also the privacy concern and compliance with data protection regulation. So number five is the installation. And I'm going to talk about the placement and position for effective civilian coverage. But let's talk about what we need first. We will need a monitor to display the video footage. And then we have the main network router to provide the data. Last but not least, this is the NVR, stands for Network Video Recorder. And we need this to connect to our IP camera. So first, let's use a short patch cord to connect our router 
to the NVR. The NVR is already connected to the monitor using the HDMI cable and it's already been powered up and using an outer short patch cord to connect our router to this WebSmart PoE switch. Let's plug it in and this PoE switch can provide power and data to the Edge device. I'm going to connect with three IP cameras. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in three Ethernet cable here. Let me plug it in. Okay. Now we have three cables connected to the switch and I'm going to connect to those IP cameras. We have the PTZ, the Doom, and the bullet camera. Let's simply plug it in. And now they should be working. Let's wait for a little while. It takes a little bit of time for the bullet camera to come on. You need to zoom in and out. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole setup is done and it's pretty easy, right? So make sure you place your camera facing the place that you need. Don't waste your camera on the wall or the places that you don't want to see. And also very important, you need a regular maintenance to ensure your camera's longevity. And if you have any questions with your system design, you can feel free to send us your problem through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will provide you with the solution as soon as possible.